now we will talk about next gland ok. So, what is the next gland children we will be talking about thyroid ok. We will be talking about thyroid gland now. So, where is it present without diagram little difficult to remember ok. I will say you will listen, but when you see as you have seen now how pineal hypothalamus are present inside the brain. So, you will be able to remember how pituitary is just present below the brain you have seen in the rough diagram. So, you will be able to remember. So, uh, again I will be drawing a rough one for this also. So, ok this one ok. Now, this one what I am drawing is our wind pipe ok. I am drawing a pipe which is our wind pipe ok. So, this gland is thyroid ok. This gland is what children it is thyroid gland. So, where thyroid gland is present children it is present where it is attached to a wind uh, pipe is not it it is attached to a trachea I, I can say even. So, where thyroid is present thyroid is present it is attached to a wind pipe or even I can say that thyroid is attached to our trachea ok. Now, what is the this is about the function that thyroid this is our wind pipe this tube and thyroid is present it is attached on our wind pipe it is attached to the trachea. Now, what is thyroid doing? What is the function of thyroid? What is the hormone which is released by thyroid ok? So, the hormone which is released by thyroid is thyroxine ok. The hormone which is released by thyroid is thyroxine. Now, what is the function of thyroxine children? The function of thyroxine like thyroxine is very very important children as it plays a very important role in the metabolism ok in the breakdown of carbohydrates, fats and proteins ok. Now, it is also very important as it you know this thyroid gland it is responsible for the growth and development ok. Thyroid gland is responsible means the secretion which is secreted the hormone which is secreted by thyroid which hormone is secreted by thyroid obviously thyroxine. This thyroxine is very very important for the mental growth and development of the body and when the person ok when the when the child specially does not have enough amount of thyroxine it is not at all possible for the child to have a proper development. It will never have a proper mental it will not attend a proper mental and physical development. Now, why is it happen children? Because the main constituent of thyroxine is iodine main constituent of thyroxine is iodine ok. I will just write and then we will discuss children. So, it becomes easy you know ok I will just write this side now. So, what is thyroid then first point should be always about the position. So, where is it present children it is attached to a windpipe ok it is attached to a windpipe thyroid gland is attached to a windpipe ok. Now, what is the second point regarding the same thing we are talking about thyroid. So, thyroid secretes which hormone thyroid secretes thyroxine thyroid secretes thyroxine hormone. Okay, thyroid will secrete which hormone? Thyroid is secreting thyroxine hormone. Okay, now this thyroxine hormone 
what we are talking we are talking about thyroid gland where it is present it is present it is attached to the windpipe or it is attached to the trachea we can say now it is attached to our windpipe okay it is attached to our windpipe now what does it secrete it secretes hormone which is what thyroxine now this thyroxine is made up of what children so thyroxine thyroxine is made up of iodine isn't it thyroid thyroid is secreting thyroxine thyroxine has what it is made up of means what the main constituent okay it is what is the main constituent of thyroxine it is what iodine okay so it is a main constituent and children please do not take it in a this way uh, thyroxine is constituent okay constituent so main constituent is what children the main constituent is what iodine there will be little here and there about the in the grammatical part so now thyroxine main constituent iodine okay this also I'll put in the bracket so that you should not get confused either you read in this way thyroxine is made up of iodine or thyroxine constituent is what iodine okay now what is the function of this what is the function of thyroxine so it plays a very important role okay in the metabolism of carbohydrates fats and protein also okay so thyroxine is play thyroxine is playing thyroxine plays very important role in the metabolism of carbohydrates fats and proteins okay now it is responsible okay it is responsible for growth and development of the body okay it is responsible for the growth and the development of the body okay it is very very important for the growth and development of the body so if in a child okay if in a child if there is deficiency of iodine please try to understand children how it is going to work if a children if a if in a children if <laughs> if in a child i'm extremely sorry if in a children if in a child okay if in a child children like i'm talking children i'm saying children to you and i'm giving an example of a child so it got mixed up you know okay so students we are talking about thyroid gland okay where is it present it is present it is attached to the what it is attached to the trachea or the windpipe now what thyroid is secreting it will be secreting thyroxine hormone how thyroxine hormone is made up of thyroxine hormone is made up of what iodine okay without iodine thyroxine won't be secreted properly now what is the function of thyroxine metabolism of carbohydrates fats and proteins okay now it is also very very uh, important for the what it is responsible for what uh, something is wrong you know growth and development of the body okay it is responsible for the growth and development of the body now see if a child lacks iodine okay if a child lacks iodine that means if iodine is not there in a proper amount that means thyroxine won't be secreted in a proper amount if thyroxine is not secreted in a proper amount then growth and development of that child won't be normal won't be normal so and you know it is you know when the child suffers from um, you know lack of iodine or when the thyroxine is not secreted properly then that condition is known as what cretinism 
okay that condition is known as okay it is known as what cretinism so in children when the growth is affected due to improper secretion of thyroxine so this condition okay what is happening children when a child doesn't grow properly because he is and uh, he is having deficiency of iodine if iodine is less thyroxine won't be secreted properly if thyroxine won't be secreted properly so it is going to affect the mental growth the physical growth of the child and this condition is known as what which condition children when the growth of a child is blocked due to the what due to insufficient amount of iodine which is present in its body okay due to deficiency of iodine okay so due to deficiency of iodine what is what is happening children due to deficiency of iodine thyroxine is not uh, being uh, secreted properly improper means what deficient okay so in a child when the secretion of thyroxine why it is not proper because iodine is not present in the body if iodine is not present thyroxine will not be secreted the function of thyroxine is what it develops the body it, it is responsible for the proper uh, mental growth development physical development if iodine is not present thyroxine will not be secreted properly if thyroxine won't be secreted properly then the mental growth and development of the body won't be possible so in children when the growth is affected due to improper actually deficient when he is deficient of iodine okay in improper secretion of thyroxine okay so if you want me to write more clearer so i will write when the deficiency of what children iodine iodine deficiency okay i'm not writing in the whole sentence because there is no place left over here so that stage okay then this stage is known as what children it is this stage is known as cretinism okay it is known as cretinism are you getting it clear we are talking about thyroid gland thyroid gland secretes thyroxine and iodine plays a very important role in the formation of thyroxine now if the iodine is not there thyroxine won't be secreted properly if the thyroxine won't be secreted properly then the growth and development of that particular child will be what blocked now if the uh, child is not growing properly due to the deficiency of iodine due to the deficiency of thyroxine okay then that stage is known as cretinism now when the adult suffers from the deficiency of thyroxine when an adult suffers from the deficiency of the iodine then what happen children it give rise to the formation of the goiter okay it give rise to the formation of the goiter now how can uh, we recognize it is easily you know uh, understood that the person is suffering from the goiter it uh, indicates how does it indicates by the swelling this part gets swollen okay that glands become swollen okay that is the reason actually uh, due to the enlargement of thyroid gland okay the, the we can identify the go, uh, the disease goiter so what is happening children when an adult is having or when the adult is iodine deficient okay when the adult is iodine deficient then the person will suffer from the goiter so i'll write over here when an adult suffers there is no place to write actually suffers from the deficiency of iodine 
then what happens children this no place it will be visible or not I will have to rub this part so okay so what is happening children when a person's uh, when a child suffers from the deficiency of iodine if it like thyroxine hormone is not secreted properly then what will happen cretinism that means the mental growth and the physical growth will be hampered now when an adult suffers from the deficiency of iodine when due to the deficiency of iodine enlargement okay what what is the name of the disease goiter okay goiter can be seen in the adults now what is the special characteristic or specific characteristic of the goiter enlargement there is no place i'll write here okay enlargement this is our eight point enlargement of what children enlargement of the gland okay enlargement of the gland uh, can be seen in the adults okay and this is known as this disease is known as what children it is known as goiter now so it is very very important children to have a proper uh, diet you know we don't have to take iodine separately but we all know even nowadays it is coming in the advertisement that one should take iodized salt in the iodized salt the iodine is present in the form of the salts okay maybe uh, one or the other salts are you getting my point in the salt in the salt okay in the nacl i'm talking about nacl sodium chloride namak the one which we eat in that namak the iodine okay that namak in that namak the iodine is present in the form of the potassium uh, you know salt of the potassium okay it is present in the salt of the potassium so i think you are not clear with this so where it is present see in the salt okay in the salt which salt nacl it is present in the form of the potassium iodide okay this is again it is a salt we we say this one is a salt okay so in this salt the common salt which we use at home the iodine is present in the form of the potassium iodide which is quite sufficient for us okay the amount which we will be taking will be quite sufficient for us so it is you know again again it is being told by the uh, doctors it is being shown on the television that one should take iodized salt because it has iodine in it and that iodine is you know very very important for the proper growth and development of a child and in fact it is also very very important to be healthy even if for the adults when a child suffers from the deficiency then it is known as cretinism and when a adult suffers from the deficiency and the enlargement of the gland can be seen so that disease is known as what children it is known as goiter what happens in the goiter the enlargement of the gland okay why does it happens due to the deficiency of the iodine okay so for a proper growth and development iodine is very very important so i'll just just it out we are talking about the third gland we have discussed pineal uh, in fact fourth one we have discussed pineal we have discussed hypothalamus we have discussed pituitary and now here we are discussing the fourth gland which is thyroid gland isn't it we are discussing the fourth gland which is thyroid gland now thyroid gland is present where it is attached to the trachea or it is attached to the uh wind pipe okay thyroid gland secretes thyroxine thyroxine contains what iodine or iodine is important for the secretion of thyroxine or iodine is the one which constituents you know it is a main constituent of the thyroxine where thyroxine is required it is very very important for the metabolism of carbohydrates fats and proteins 
okay then it is also responsible for the proper mental and physical growth of the child as uh, when we say uh, child i will development and growth i'll talk about child okay when a child does not have proper amount of iodine when the child lacks iodine then what will happen then the child will uh, be suffering from the disease like kidnism where it won't be able to attain the proper physical and mental growth okay now when we talk about the adults if the adult suffers from the deficiency of iodine then the disease is known as goiter this goiter can be easily identified by the enlargement of the gland okay this the gland becomes very much you know it becomes it increase in the size now so it has been instructed time and again uh, that one should always take iodized salt because iodized salt contains amount of iodine which is required for our body for our proper growth okay so this was all about our fourth gland which is thyroid gland now you know inside this thyroid gland only four parathyroid glands are present okay inside this only inside this only this is our thyroid gland which is attached to the uh, wind uh, trachea or windpipe inside this only four parathyroid glands are present now what are these parathyroid why is it important and which hormone does it secrete uh, we will talk about this now we we'll just have to uh, i'll have to rub the blackboard and then uh, i'll talk about the a parathyroid okay so please note this down 